Hi everyone! Welcome to another episode of Firebase Releases Deep Dive. This month, we'll take a look at having range and inequality filters on multiple fields in a single query that just became available on Firestore. Let's start with understanding what this feature allows you to do and why this is important. Until this release, all inequality and range conditions in a query had to reference the same field. And I'll explain why in a moment. Now, however, a single query can have range or inequality conditions on multiple fields in your documents. In the past, if you needed to filter your documents using range conditions on multiple fields, you would either have to perform part of your filtering on the client side, or you would have to restructure your data model. And this typically increased either the money you spent on Firestore or the time you spent on your implementation. This new feature enables more flexible and cost-efficient query. So imagine you're building a car rental app where people can filter cars based on some information such as rating and daily price. Here you can see what a document in the cars collection would look like. With this new Firestore feature, you can create a diverse range of filters for your app. So you're looking for a car that has been rated more than three stars and that won't exceed your daily budget of $30? No problem. All you have to do is create a query like this. First, you specify that you're searching for documents in the Cars collection. Then you add the first range condition, which narrows the search to only cars rated more than three stars. Next, you add another range condition that narrows your search even more by filtering only the cars that cost less than $30 a day. Easy peasy! As you just saw, having queries with range and inequality conditions on multiple fields opens up a lot of possibilities. But it also changes how queries are executed, which means that you need to start thinking about performance and cost. Until now, the Firestar API would only let you write queries for which it could meet its performance guarantee. Meaning that the time the query would take to execute would not depend on the collection size. For any query with up to one range or inequality condition, it would be able to jump straight to the starting point of the matching documents in the index. Then, it would return all results until it found the first one that no longer matched the conditions. It's a bit different now for these new queries. We now do index scans. The database may now have to scan index entries for documents that it does not return, and this scanning is a new operation that takes some time and that you charge it for. So this is how it works. For each up to 1,000 index entries that are scanned but not returned, you're charged one document read. That's why it's important to optimize your queries that use range and inequality conditions on multiple fields. And there are a few ways you can do that, like optimizing the order of the fields in the index. In Firestore, the order by clause of a query determines which indexes can be used to serve the query. For example, an order by on field A ascending and field B ascending requires a composite index of these two fields. In order to optimize the order of fields in the index, you should ensure that you're putting the condition that disqualifies the most documents the furthest to the left. Let's take the example you just saw for the car rental app and apply this optimization. So you want to search through a collection of cars to find the ones with a rating of more than three stars and that cost less than $30 per day. Based on your understanding of the dataset, you know that the price constraint is more selective than the rating constraint. So the ideal query that would be faster and cost-efficient in this case would order price before rating, as you can see here. And this is just one of the ways you can optimize performance and costs. For more best practices, read the documentation that I linked in the video description. And if you want to try the feature out, all you have to do is update your client SDK to the latest version and start building your queries. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of Firebase Releases Deep Dive.